I was standing here on the dock uh, casting a hydra and I had uh, a landlocked salmon come up about two minutes ago and take a swipe at the uh, at the lure just at the just as I was lifting it out of the water and I kept casting and uh, all of a sudden this one uh, this one came up right off the dock and right I just off came the dock up. I haven't even got my boots on yet <laughs> I was getting my waders wow wow what a beautiful salmon too right here off the dock I can't believe it okay I think Joe's coming out to land it maybe the cameraman should be uh, right this side here. What is it? Ice, ice. oh he can uh, same thing he hit it just as I'm getting it up to the dock and ready to lift it out of the water Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Can you imagine right right off the dock catching how I guess he's not quite ready yet. Can you imagine when people see this and know that you can catch salmon off the dock? I've never ever ever seen anything like this. Wow. He hit that from the. Is that, uh, he hit that from the side. Yeah, he came up uh, behind and swiped at it. Whoop. Wow. It, and that's a beautiful fish too. That's about like the one I lost, isn't it? Wouldn't you say? That Dave? would be that would be about the same size, I think. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, move your, yeah, that's right. Oop. Great, great. There he goes. Can you catch him again? <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. Okay. Super. Perfect. Yeah. Bring that right up here. This is unbelievable. You're one of the first people to ever use this new hydro lure. So I guess it works for salmon well, as well I think, as... Uh, I think the action on that uh, lure is terrific. I mean, it looks like a real minnow swimming through the water, and obviously the fish think so. Then, as I said, that's the third one that we've had. No, actually, it was the third one that hit it from the dock today. And yeah, I know. Uh, and plus, we had some swirl when we went out in the boat, but it was raining so hard that we uh, wanted to get the camera out of the rain. But then I went in to get my boot. I don't even have my boots on right now. <laughs> I went in. I heard you whistling out here off the dock. That's fantastic. That's fantastic, Dave. You are really a landlocked salmon. Pr pretty, pretty nifty. <laughs> landlocked <laughs> salmon expert. Oh wow. Well, I'm going to get my boots and go wading. Wow. I thought this might be interesting. I'm out here casting for uh, Atlantic landlocked salmon. And uh, that isn't what I have, but it's kind of neat what happened here. I've been out here casting this. Uh, oh, he's gone. I've been casting this, this blue hydra. And uh, because it looks so much like what uh, I thought the salmon would be hitting, and now two casts in a row, I've had a, a brook trout on it. This is really, really something. Uh, the neat thing is, is when the salmon aren't hitting, and this is a nice sized bookie, that the brook trout, and I'm standing right here at the, at the lodge. In fact, Jill and Lissette are up there making lunch, and uh, I just couldn't resist coming down here to to fish. And these brook trout are jumping all over this lure. I think it's, it's, it's if the fish are around, they seem to hit it. Now, I'm dropping this fish each time because I'm, I'm really trying not to hurt it. And unfortunately, it's got the hook pretty well embedded in it. This bait is a little bit big. That's about a nine or ten inch brookie. And away he goes. It's a little bit big for what I would have thought, but the brook trout are hitting it like crazy. Sometimes I'm getting a, a strike every cast. This poor hydra has been hit by salmon, by brook trout. It's just becoming uh, dilapidated. In fact, I may have to retie it. Unfortunately, 
uh, we had trouble with microphones at various times during the trip, and this happened to be one of them. Don and I had gone out uh, together in the boat. We had uh, Maxime and the cameraman in the other boat, uh, and uh, so we're, we're lacking complete audio and no, uh, no discussion of this fish, but Don has hooked a fairly nice red like salmon again on the Hydra and is doing his best to get this one in, uh, which as you can see, uh, we managed to get in successfully uh, and get successfully released and uh, back into the water. Looks like a pretty good one. I think. Keep an eye on him. I think he. Uh... Yeah. Okay. We're still here at the uh, the south end of Lake Wachu, and the uh, landlocked salmon are hitting every few minutes. So I can't tell. I'm sorry. What, what do you on? What do you have? I've, uh, it's a landlocked salmon. The uh, at least I gotta believe it's a landlocked. It looks like a pretty good fish. I'm using a. A blue hydra lure with a uh, with a oh 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 with a soft blue paddle tail uh, body. Yep. I'm trying to keep this. Uh, oh, hello. That's two jumps. That's pretty good. This is a decent fish. This is unbelievable. Oh, three, look at him go. Yeah. There he goes, whoa. He's putting on a show. Drags a little light. He is tugging and pulling. I had no idea the fish was that big when he first hit. <laughs> he looks like he's starting to get tired. Yeah, if you can, uh, when you bring him here, I'd like to get some underwater shots of him if you want. Okay. He, uh, oh, he's a beautiful fish. He whacked that blue hydra. It's unbelievable. This fishing is absolute. This is this is oh the trip. Boy. This is a trip of a lifetime. Honest to God, I can't believe this. I think uh, I think Don just hooked a nice big one too. Looks like we got we got we got one going in the other boat. Whoa! There he goes. There he goes again. He's probably saw that on the camera. Hello. My wrist is starting to get tired here. What a fish! I don't think he's quite as big as the last one. Yeah, on that hydra lure. What a fish. He hit that. I don't think I've had that hydra I don't think I had that hydra lure in the water more than about 30 seconds. What color hydra? It's a blue hydra. Blue seems to be the color. It matches the uh, or it's it's an attempt to to match the uh, smelt here in the lake that the that the landlocks feed on. Oh I have been, trust me. <laughs> yep. Yeah it's on the blue hydra. I, I did. I <laughs> 
On on the Hydra too? Yeah, I got a huge one on right now. Well, we got a second fish going here. Don's got uh, Don's got one in the other boat, also on the on the same lure that I'm using at the moment, the blue Hydra. Well, come on. No, I won't. We gotta just. Well. Here, up, okay, yeah. You, you do the. This is a trip of a lifetime. I have oh. never had anything like this happen before. This is phenomenal. We've got, we've got, we've, we're trying to pass directions here. We've got, obviously, when we're in two different boats, this is a big fish. I'm not saying it's bigger than Dave's, but it better not be. He said it might be the biggest fish of the day. <laughs> it's heavy. It's, it, all my line is out, it's, it's starting to come back in. <laughs> I know the feel. I, I know the feeling. <laughs> oh my goodness! Joe, wait till you see the size of this fish. Oh my! Yeah, it's, a, oh. it's the biggest one. Yeah. Oh my goodness! This this may be the biggest one ever caught out of this lake. <laughs> I, I'm not kidding you. This is a monster. Hey Max, do you have the map? The closer we can get. I can't bring this fish, I can't bring him up. He's so huge. Oh. My heart's in my My heart's in my throat. Oh no, he's not ready, it's huge. I didn't realize I had such a huge fish. Oh. I'm telling you, this 
this this may be the most trophy oriented fish of any fish I've ever caught in all the years doing stream side. Because for a lamp oh my gee. He's unbelievable. It's uh oh. yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh it's not. Wow. 
This is this is incredible. This is incredible. In fact, the fish that Dave just caught right before me was also on this blue hydra. For some reason, these salmon must think this is something they really want to eat. Well, I'll tell you, I, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'll tell you what I'm going to say. You know it ain't going to get any better than this. we got to end this because I want to go in and act silly. Congratulations. i got to get out of Jill's way here. If it wasn't for Jill, Jill is the one who says, you know, I think we'll go down there to the end. And uh, he did it. He made it happen. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this show. And all I can tell you is these huge landlocks are here, right here waiting.